Hey YouTube, it's me and Josh. I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, this is a ITT LGH 210 um, air compressor that my grandpa gave me. It's oilless. Uh, it does run. I'm not going to run it tonight. It's 12, almost 1 o'clock a.m. or 1 a.m. So, yeah. I'll, what I'll be doing with this is... I, in here is a broken off air filter so I have to basically clean out that with a thread that fits this one I have a feeling they were the same I'm going to clean up the head bolts and the the bolts on this casting so these Allen um, uh, thread in easier all it uses is a 3 uh Allen I just loosely tighten these. Um, yeah, I contacted uh, Thomas and Gardner. I can't. Um, yeah, who makes these compressor compressors now? And they're gonna see if they have a air filter for this. And I might have to thread uh, make up an adapter from this thread into a standard air hose thread. So again, yep. So yeah. So that will involve more lathe work, which I don't mind. Um, yeah, this produces a 1.25 CFM at zero psi, and I tried this a while ago, and I got a good 70 psi out of this thing. Do mind probably the seals weren't uh, weren't uh, lined up correctly. These threads are pretty filthy, as you can see. I didn't tighten them all the way down. If I was going to tighten these down actually put this back into service I would have to tighten these down really tight it's a 1 6th horsepower gold uh, century motor um, it's a 1 6th horsepower 50 60 uh, 60 hertz, 50 hertz motor, single phase, 1,725 RPMs or 1,425, 115 volts, thermally protected, 3.2 amps on 60 hertz, and 3.8 amps on 50 hertz. It's continuous rating. It's a insulation class of A serial Y eight uh, service factor or S F A three point seven four point four. Um, I don't know what year it is. Uh, this motor was built in St. Louis, Missouri. That was that's where their headquarter had headquartered. Um, this uh, was made in Monroe, Louisiana. So, yeah, it's a actual uh, articulating type uh, compressor. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a quick video, but I guess not, like all my other videos. Or actually, it's quicker into a sense it's not going to be a half hour long. Okay, four head bolts. Here's the head. Here's the bottom of the head. Here's the plastic that I have to take out. Here's the top valve plate. The ports. The bottom valve plate. Then the piston. This comes off. This also comes off. I won't be pulling it all the way up due to I don't want to do the piston push the piston rings. I can do it one hand or two handed but I don't really want to do it tonight. I'll be taking this in leaving this here. 
I'll be leaving this here, but taking this, the head bolts, and this to school, cleaning up all the threads, chasing all the threads. Um, yeah, this does come right off. Um, just grabbing a flathead. This bolt looks out of place due to this one was completely stripped. Um, yeah, the I probably will be replacing the other three uh, in the next couple. Maybe I don't know when I might. These are very long screws. It's oilless, as you can see right there. I really like this compressor due to it's a lot quieter, not by much, than to that uh, campster housing. This one, it, just look at that piston. It's a good. Uh, where's my caliper? Uh, I measured the stroke on this. It's only like point three. Um, point three three seven. Four is almost is two point two seven four. That's just a rough. Um, so it looks like it's a graphite cylinder. Um. Yeah. <coughs> As you can see it's a articulating piston. Yes, I almost did pull it out. That's how how it is. Bearing here, the shaft here. Um, yeah, it has graph graphite uh, piston rings, pat this graphite skirt, and I think I can still get parts for this thing. I don't, don't totally know. Till next time, happy steaming, and I'll give you an update um, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Talk to you later. Bye.